Today's video is brought to you by DoorDash and Bespoke Post. Where's the spot? That was pretty good. What do you want there? Hank yeah. the Septipus. Hey, brother! And welcome everyone to another edition of J vs. Ben, where today we take on the ultimate Disney princess quiz. I've just been grinning at you the whole time. Oh. I'm feeling awfully jolly today. Well, let's do it! In case you guys are new to the J versus Ben format, this is how it is going to work. Our younger brother Tyler is on the other end of the camera. He's waving, but you can't see him. He's going to be reading us today's 15 questions plus three bonus quiz master questions. Yes, and Ben and I will have to answer all of the questions from our memory. Mm -hmm. However, if we both are just completely stumped, we can ask to hear the multiple choice. Also, if you'd like to play along with us, we've included a link to this quiz in the description down below. Good luck. How are you feeling about Disney princesses? Great. Yeah, you're gonna nail it. You think there'll be any Raya questions? Mm, maybe, trick from question. the, maybe from the Patreon. Oh, yeah. good point, good point, good point. Could the trick be. question there though is it is currently undetermined at this point in time whether or not Raya will be a Disney princess. It is undetermined. I do think she will be. Me too. Yeah, here we go. Question one. Which Disney princess has the fewest amount of lines in her own movie? If I had to guess, that's my guess. This one to me makes sense for reasons I will reveal after Ben guesses. Okay. Hopefully okay. wrong and me right. Okay, ready? Three, yeah. two, one. I said Aurora. Yeah. Sleeping Beauty. The correct answer is Aurora. Yay! Yeah. It's because she's asleep. <laughs> yeah, but That's... Ariel is like, can't talk. Well, yes, That's but she true. also. She has she... a lot of songs. Yes. Songs that irritate me. Yeah. She forgets the word feet like three times. Yeah. Or yeah. fire. How often fire, do you forget the word legs. fin? Hmm? How often do you forget the word tail fin? Uh, not often. <laughs> I, I don't think frequently. Tell you what, especially, it's especially embarrassing for her because it's something she aspires to be so much. It'd be like, oh man, I can't wait to go to the moon in my, um, what's it called again? Rocket ship. And you're like, oh yeah, you forgot what a rocket ship was, astronaut? I don't think so. Let's be real. Nobody's ever forgotten the word rocket ship ever because rocket ships are awesome. Rocket ship. I'm not sure if that counts as one word or two, but either way, top 10 words. Yes. Right. Yes. I mean, agreed upon. What else would be a top 10 word? You guys can let us know in the title section down below. Definitely not the word kernel spelt like C-O-L-O-N-E. <sighs> That's like no. bottom 10. That, uh, maybe, of all words. It might be the worst word other than moist. <sighs> Question two. What size are Cinderella's slippers? Oh, what size are they? That's an interesting one. Uh -huh. That is an interesting like, one. Like, is it a, are we looking for like a number or like a descriptor? Looking for a number. We're looking for, okay, so they <laughs> say the size what she is. Okay, um, man, okay. What do I know about women's foot sizes in the 50s? <laughs> Hmm, good question, good question. Because they have evolved, obviously, ever since that extra toe I in the 70s. I am going to go with that. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. I said seven. I hey! said seven, too. No Did way. you draw a line? <laughs> I drew a line. No way, me too. Okay. Uh, the answer is four and a half. What? What, is she a child? That well, I absurd. mean, probably. Probably. Like most of these princesses, right? Snow White is the youngest at 14, I believe. Wow, that is a small foot. Small foot. Like S-M-O-L. Yeah. Top 10 word, if you ask me. <laughs> Query number three. Two Disney princesses wear pants. Mulan is one. The other is... Oh, you just have it. Uh... <laughs> Oh, no. I mean, at the very oh, least, yeah. I feel like you're able to nail oh, it down. Oh, okay, 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 I got it. Now I, I hope I'm not it. wrong. There's there's always this gut feeling that happens where you're unsure and then I'm, okay, ready? Three, yeah. two, one. Jasmine. Jasmine. Yeah. Jasmine! Yeah. Wait a minute. They're kind of like um, parachute-y almost. Is that like a, would they're, that be an accurate descriptor? Or yeah, I don't know what the appropriate word is for, yeah, her like poofy pants there. Poofy pants. Poofy pants. I guess Top Aladdin. 10 word. <laughs> <laughs> poofy pants. Uh, I guess Aladdin also wears a similar kind of pant. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Right. They're cool. They look very comfortable. 
They do. Yeah. Get out. Question four. Which Disney princess has hazel eyes? Has hazel eyes? Hazel. Are you kidding me with this question, <laughs> T. Weiler? No. Oh my goodness. Hazel. I don't know if- I feel like hazel is a catch-all, you have multicolored eyes sort of thing. People tell me that I have hazel eyes, but then other people get upset and they're like, you do not have hazel eyes, they're this. Right, to, I think hazel to a lot of people means like light brown. I think that, that yes, a, a yeah. lot of people I do think it means like a, a version of brown, but it doesn't mean brown. Right. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Merida. I said Rapunzel. Ooh, Rapunzel has green eyes, I think, and Merida's are like red. Anyway, <laughs> Belle has hazel eyes. Is that right? Yes, that is right. Okay. <laughs> you say so. <laughs> the, the, if you want to, I the mean, fields whatever. of France. <laughs> I don't feel uh, maybe they say that in one of the lines of a song or something, but oh, that See, seems like. I, I was operating basically off my own eyes, which are are green yeah. mostly. I mean, sort of all of all three of ours are very similar. Like they've got like the They're orange, like green with a tint of orange, and gold, and like, and like a yeah. sort of almost like a, a, a cobalt around the edge. A cobalt. Mm, yeah. Excellent descriptor. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can I can see that. I can see that. And now for our first Patreon quiz master question of the game. To get your question in the quiz or to vote on questions for the quizzes, go to patreon.com slash supercarlinbrothers and select the quiz master tier. This question was submitted by Agent Krako and selected by patrons. All right. What did the two weights Mulan used to retrieve the arrow represent? Oh. Ooh. I can like see the scene playing I know. out in my head. Yeah. Um, this is one of my like, it's like one of my very favorite scenes. I know, I know. Uh, I, I have guesses, but okay. I don't. I don't think they're right, and I don't think I'm going to get there. So three, two, one. I said honor and courage. Oh, I said fear and weakness. Oh. Mm. So I went more for like weights being like. Oh, these are things, things you have to like drag carry you down. Yeah. I, see. I thought it was things like you will need these things to reach the top. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That, that's, that adds up as well. I think the answer is a split between the two. Correct answer is discipline and strength. Ah, uh, discipline and strength. Man, yeah, yeah. I okay. had weakness, which is basically the exact opposite. <laughs> Does that so, count for anything? Points off. Points right? on negative points. Negative points. Put them back. Put them back. Put them back. Put them back. <laughs> that was a close one. That was. We just added more work for Editor Riley. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Riles. Uh, question five: There are only two Disney princesses who are left-handed. Mulan is one. Who is the other? What, what is this? What <laughs> like, <laughs> Mulan wears pants. <laughs> Left-handed <Edges>. pants. <laughs> yeah. Left-handed pants. Uh, what would that mean? That the fly's on the other side? Oh, it could I mean guess it that. it could mean that. How is that wow, for okay, question for left-handed people. Yeah, because the fly is on the, the, the like it access point is on the right. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go with this, but it's a complete guess. I okay. have no idea. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Okay. Tiana. I said Merida. Okay. Oh, the correct answer is Tiana. No way! Yes! Yeah. That's amazing. You uh, are joking. No, me. you yes. are pulling my ankles. I have not. Well, I was trying to. Think, I knew it wasn't Merida because she has that like scene with the bow. That's why I drew the bow and arrow. Oh, and I thought okay. I thought maybe that's what it was. Okay. Because uh, it's also one of those those things where. When I imagine holding a bow, it's not so intuitive to me that like which like, hand, which would, hand which? would be which. Yeah. yeah. Because like it feels just as likely that your right hand, if you're right handed, would be the one you would hold out. But I don't think that's correct. No, you're sure you, hold out. you pull with your dominant hand. It's for okay. your dominant eye. Oh, this is the problem I have with um Oh, you do have this problem. Shooting things. I like uh, my dominant eye is my left eye and it is significantly more dominant. Like that's why I wear glasses is because of the, the difference. And so I'm right-handed. So if I'm ever like shooting a rifle or a bow, I have this like, it. I can see better if I use my left hand. Oh, I But see. I can't hold the, the, but the you're, weapon. But you're like hand mechanics are less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For yeah. all those occasions when that comes up. Yeah, you know, you know how I handle lots of firearms. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that about you. <laughs> Question six. How many times does Cinderella lose her shoe throughout the movie? This feels like a trick question. It does. All right, ready? Three, I two, know this is, I said one. I said three. The answer is three. The yes! Is three! What? Are you, for real, are you just saying I'm because, for realsies. Oh my God. What? Oh, I mean, I was like, the whole movie is about that thing. 
Okay, okay, okay. This was me. Like, I don't I know if you remember. Cinderella again. Our grandparents growing up would have uh, this book where there was like lots of like optical illusions where you would have like a circle on one side and then the circle on the other side would be like filled in or have a whole yeah. bunch of like hex marks. Okay. And it would say like which one was bigger. Yeah. And it, like one of them, like the empty one would like look better, better right. optically. But, the but, but then if you did the lines, it would be like the exact same. I felt like the book was very interesting to me until I learned that the, the, the trick was exactly the same every single time. Right. Like whatever was presented to you was always okay. the exact opposite of what the reality of the situation was. Like right. which one of these lines is straight? And like one of them would have like another like curvy line going through it. It's like, they're both straight. Right. It's and like, so oh. that explains how a shoe that fits perfectly can fall yeah, off your foot three, three times. Oh, well, because one felt <laughs> like the obvious answer. So I was like, I couldn't have been that many times. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, threes. I cannot believe that was your, those were the dots you connected. <laughs> Let me explain how I got there. You know, I feel illusions. <laughs> Yeah, Was so, that, were they involved? No, not no. at all. But that's what did it for me. Question seven. Which Disney princess had an official job? Like a like a W-2 employee. I I see you, princess. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Tiana. Tiana. Yeah. Tiana, indeed. <laughs> Probably actually has a W-2 because also American. Right? I mean, she works at a restaurant and in my experience, you don't have a W-2 at a restaurant. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't seem like maybe she gets paid in cash a lot too. Mm. Yeah. What's happening at that cafe? <laughs> right, mm. are they paying their taxes properly? Yeah, okay. New Let's, video. Yeah. Let's investigate that. Let's get into the seedy underbelly of the New Orleans restaurant scene, circa eight. Princess and the Frog. Question eight. Yep. How old is Snow White in her film? Okay. Three, two, one, 14. 14. 14. Hey, we knew that. <laughs> Sometimes we say it beforehand. Sometimes. <laughs> this was one of those times. This was one, yes, indeed. I noticed that too. Yeah. <laughs> it's time for it. We gots to do it. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Actually, very shortly. I'm not helping. I'm not helping. Don't hide the honey. So obviously we're gonna hide the honey. We're gonna do it in here today because we have this washing machine that we literally never use. So nobody's ever gonna find it in there. Anyway, how is everybody? And welcome to the scenic group. We have fun here. And I tell you about today's sponsor, Bespoke Post. Now you guys may remember that last month, Bespoke Post sent me a fantastic house plant that came in a handsome vessel and good news, it's here. I even keep it on this turntable for maximum sunlight potential. Now, in case you guys are new to Bespoke Post, let me tell you all about it because the lovely folks over there curate these spectacular boxes of awesome every single month. That's how people know I'm doing work. Now, each box costs $45, but comes packed with over $70 worth of gear. And it's free to sign up. You can skip or cancel anytime you want. Next month, I'm eyeing this smoked box. It comes with like a plank and a torch and a lid, and then you can smokeify all your stuff. If you'd like to check it out, and I highly recommend that you do, you can get 20% off your first box when you go to boxofawesome.com slash super. Again, that is going to be boxofawesome.com slash super for 20% off your first box. Boxofawesome.com slash super. Link is in the description down below. Bank shot. Yes. Ho <laughs> ho. Ducks go in cups. Oh, is it my turn? <laughs> well, it's about time. Because today's video is also brought to you by DoorDash, which is great news because I am totally craving a smoothie right now. Peanut butter, yes. Chocolate, yes. And done. Actually, I should probably hit send. Okay, now done. Guys, whether you have forgotten something at the store, need dinner, or just need a mid-afternoon snack to help boost your trivia brain to prep you for the second half of a Disney princess quiz, DoorDash has you covered. DoorDash connects you with the restaurants you love right now and right to your door. You can get grocery essentials, drinks, snacks, or any other household item you need delivered to your door in under an hour. And ordering is super easy. Just open the app, select what you want from where you want it, and your item will be delivered safely outside your door with the contactless delivery option. See? Boom. Smoothie. Brain freeze. Oh. Oh, Ben is so going down. 
And for a limited time, our viewers can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and use promo code JVerseB2021. That is 25% off up to a $10 value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app and enter promo code JVerseB2021. That's JVerseB2021 for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Link is in the description down below. And now for the second Patreon Quizmaster question of the game. This question was submitted by Michaela Henry and selected by patrons. What color is Ariel's voice when Ursula takes it from her? Uh. We only had the black and white version growing up, so that's not true. <laughs> Ready? I think. Three, two, one. Hazel. Green. I said purple. <laughs> I heard it in the, the script yeah. too. That's Correct the answer is yellow. Oh man. Yeah. I may have accepted Hazel, but <laughs> <laughs> it's a catch all. Question nine Who is the only Disney princess to kiss a villain? Okay. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Jasmine. Jasmine. In her left handed pants. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. No, she wasn't left handed. Jasmine is correct. <laughs> Question 10. There are only two Disney princesses who encounter snow. One is Mulan. The other is... Snow White. <laughs> Ayo. There is a mirror in that movie. <laughs> Ready? Got it. One, two, three. Belle. It's Belle. Yeah. I got there eventually. She's a funny girl, that's Belle. Yay. <laughs> Belle and her hazel eyes. <sighs> Question 11. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That would take a few seconds. <laughs> Question 11. Which Disney princess came after Sleeping Beauty? I can't. Oh, what order did they come out in? Oh, no. Oh, no. What came out first, Ben? Yeah, no, yeah. Okay. That makes sense to me. Three, two, one. I said Cinderella. I said Ariel. Oh, that's the one I put down here. I was like, I don't know if... Cinderella, Cinderella is 1950, and I... I uh, the correct answer is Ariel. Yes! Oh, was it the, no, I think Ben just took the lead. I think could be wrong. I think he took the lead. I'm so mad. Uh, question 12 Who is the only Disney princess with a tattoo? Mulan has one, but it's temporary. It feels like it'd be a pretty famous tattoo. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Mulana. I said, oh, Pocahontas! I think you're right. Because he has the arm thing. I wasn't sure. That's why I couldn't remember yeah. if, it's, if that's like, oh, I did not think about Pocahontas. Okay. The correct answer is Pocahontas. I, yeah, that's right. That's right. She Gosh. has a red band over her right arm. I was right picturing arm. an arm band on Moana. And I was like, because tattoos are such a big part of that movie. Like, it's Maui true. has like tons. It's, it's true. And she's like, they're watching the guy. Uh, okay. And now for the third and final Patreon quiz master question of the game. This question was submitted by Hope and Elizabeth and selected by patrons. What is the longest gap between Disney princess editions? And for a bonus point, who were they? We were just talking about it. I'm yeah. only going to give you the bonus point if you get the first part correct. Three, two, one. I said 32 years. Oh, we're going to do the number? That was the bonus point. No, oh. sorry. That was the first point. And the bonus point was who was it? But now you okay. know Ben's No, answer. I know Ben's answer. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I didn't guess the same number as you. Okay, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Okay, I said Aurora or Ariel in 30 years. Okay, I said Aurora to Ariel as well. <clears throat> and I said 32 years. I think it's 57 to 89, but I could be wrong. The correct answer, <clears throat> we'll have to chat about this. The correct answer is 30 years Whoa! between Aurora and Ariel. But yes! Jonathan knew Ben's answer. Did that influence you? No. I No, it didn't because I, I can tell you, I can walk you through it. Mm -hmm. You earlier said you thought it can't. Sleeping Beauty came out in 1962. 62 or 57. Okay, well, I'll, your math was based on 57 to 89. Yes. I was doing 62 to 92. I think I'm wrong on both accounts, but I got the right number anyway. <laughs> and then I was like trying to figure out like the the gap between Rapunzel and the end of the Renaissance was pretty long too. I thought I thought Princess and the Frog was 2007. Tangled was 2012. Boy, I am not. Frozen 2014. I don't know how I got the right answer, basically, is what happened. <laughs> Just guessed a whole bunch of dates, and it's only interesting if we're like, I know. Even getting them right. Yeah. Man. 
Okay, anyway. Well, I think that puts me back under. I th no, no, I think it ties you now. Yeah. Okay. Question 13. Which Disney princess has violet eyes? Violet. 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 Man. It feels like it should be obvious because this, this would be so distinct. Oh, well, we know it's not Belle. We do. We can roll that one out. Can roll out that. Oh, this is tricky. It is tricky. I think I, I have just, this is my guess. I'm just like, I can't think of anyone else who could possibly, but I can think of a reason why this character would. Yeah. So I'm going with that. Okay. Three, two, one. I said Ariel. Oh, me too. You are close, but both incorrect. It is Aurora. Man, okay, well, okay. I just, I had to assume they didn't make any weird, super crazy creative decisions with the original three. Question 14. Okay. How long is Rapunzel's hair? This, I, a number came to mind, I can't tell you why, but this was just the, the digit that's in my head. Okay. You ready? Yep. Yeah. Three, two, one. 50. I said 22 feet. The correct answer is 70 feet. Wow, 70 feet of Oh, hair. if you add them together, we're even we're, closer. We are. 70, that feels like. That's so much. I don't think that you would grow 70 feet worth of hair in 18 years. It is magic hair. It is magic hair, yeah. I, I will grant you that. Question 15, who is the only Disney princess to have dimples? Like, I think it almost has to be one of these, but which? Okay, you ready? Mm, yes. All right, three, two, one. Moana. I said Rapunzel. Correct answer is Tiana. No oh, way! Oh, I thought it had to be like a computer dimples. animated I know, character. I did too, yeah, to like do it well. Yeah, man. Oh. And then I was thinking of in Coco, where he's like, on this side, like dimple, no dimple, dimple, no dimple. And that's like, what I was trying to think of. Yeah, I, I was like, dimples do come up. Yeah, I was like, maybe that was, the, maybe that was like a fun animating thing they came up with, and that's why they included that. Right, like, oh, that Is that sense. like a behind the scenes thing? Right, it's like right, what right. came out near that? that was... Face dimples, hard to do, surprising. Maybe, but maybe not. They 2D yeah. animated them, I guess, so. <sighs> Man, we are not doing good. No, are we done? We're done. Wow! Oh. Do we tie? I think so. I think we tie. Whoa. Whoa! I guess you don't know. Maybe we did the math wrong. Yeah. Sometimes we don't pay the math budget, so <laughs> who's to say? I like to say that this is this is like the closest I've had to a win in some time. Yeah. Like I would argue that like my uh, the, the the where you caught back up with me was the question about the the span the span, and I was for one very close. You were anyway, and I did know the second pointer question. You did. And I used the year you gave to do my math with the year I incorrectly chose for The Little Mermaid. Yeah. So, just lucky, I guess. Well. And a special thank to these patrons who support Super Carl and Brothers on Patreon, especially Agent Cracko, Michaela Henry, Hope, and Elizabeth. If you'd like to get your questions in the quiz, go to patreon.com slash Brothers and select the Quiz Master tier. Or any tier, we have lots of really cool ones. We do have lots of really cool ones. There's, There's one where you can get an exclusive quarterly pin. <gasps> what? How neat! Yeah. It's fun. Yeah, you can check that one out too. Guys, for our question of the day, how did you do at home? Did you beat us? Be sure to let us know in the towel section down below. Also, this top 10 word thing, I'm really interested to know what you think is on it. Yeah, what could possibly be better than rocket ship? Let us know <laughs> down below. Also, if you want to see whether or not we think Raya will become a Disney princess and all of our reasoning behind it, you can check out this video right here. Or if you'd like to hear more of Tyler's voice, he has just started doing a video version of his podcast, Bacon and Eggs, you can check that that out right here. But until next time, bye. bye.